Hello and what is up gang? Thank you for checking out Sledgehammer TV today. SummerSlam weekend is upon us and without question the very best matches that you are going to see will be taking place Saturday night when NXT takes over Toronto and leaves the main roster with a very hard act to follow. My name is Nick Nightmare and you are watching the Sledgehammer Wrestling Show's NXT TakeOver Toronto preview and prediction show. Let's do it. Saturday night at NXT TakeOver Toronto, we are going to get five matches that I guarantee you, I guarantee you, will give you at least double the excitement, double the drama, double the thrills than you're ever going to get Sunday night at SummerSlam, and definitely four times better wrestling quality. You can go and take your money right to the bank on that. Starting off with a surprisingly well-told story of friends turning into enemies as Candice LeRae looks to get some revenge on Io Shirai in this very personal grudge match. Following her loss in a steel cage match for Baszler's NXT Women's Championship, Shirai snapped and took out her frustrations on Candice LeRae with a steel chair. Candice obviously is pissed and on a mission for payback, but as much as I love me some tenacious C, this newfound intensity and I don't need friends attitude of Io Shirai may be too much for Candice to overcome, giving Io a strong advantage. This good friends, better enemies saga comes to a head Saturday night, and my pick to win is Io Shirai. The NXT tag team titles are on the line as the Street Profits defend their titles against the Undisputed Era. The Red Dragon duo of Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly are looking to do their part in the Undisputed's mission to be draped in gold by the end of the evening. They think the Street Profits are a joke and don't deserve to be the champions. Ford and Dawkins are looking to shut them up and promised at the contract signing to beat that ass when the two teams clash this Saturday, but I'm thinking that the Street Profits are going to be done with their current reign as Tag Team Champions. Fish and O'Reilly are going to take the titles, and that, my friends, might be undisputed. The Triple Threat matchup for the North American Championship. The champ, Velveteen Dream, faces a very tough test as he takes on both Roderick Strong and Pete Dunne. Pete Dunn shocked everyone by showing up this side of the pond and looking to claim the North American Championship and promising to hold it longer than he held the NXT UK title, which was almost two years. Roddy Strong is looking to take the title from the Dream to help fulfill Adam Cole's undisputed expedition for all the gold in NXT. Both challengers with seemingly big dreams here, but there is only one dream in NXT that matters, and that's the champ the Velveteen Dream, who is tough as nails and shouldn't be taken lightly. My pick is a little convoluted here, but if Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly win the tag team belts, we might see Roderick Strong come out on top as the new champion, but I have to go with my gut, and my gut is picking Pete Dunne for the win. The NXT Women's Champion Shayna Baszler defends her title against Mia Yim in what might be the toughest match yet for both ladies involved. The HBIC is not intimidated by the Queen of Spades. Mia has been protecting others from the bullying tactics that Shayna and her cohorts have been notorious for. Yim even beat down Jessamine Duke and Marina Shafir to show the champ that she means business. 
but Baszler doesn't need her backup to kick someone's ass. She might be the most dominant and destructive champion ever and is not scared to get into a fight, nor is she scared of Mia Yim, but maybe she should be. Yim may be the underdog here, but it's usually the underdogs in the fight that are the most dangerous. And my pick for this one, the Blazing Batty, Mia Yim, shocks the world and becomes the new NXT Women's Champion. And in our main event of the evening, the NXT Championship two out of three falls matchup, Johnny Gargano versus your NXT Champion, Adam Cole. This will be the third time these men go to war for the NXT Championship, each man with one win to his credit. William Regal allowed them to pick the stipulations for the first two falls. Johnny Gargano chose a street fight, Adam Cole chose a traditional wrestling match. And if Cole and Gargano end up even after the first two matches, the stipulation for the third and deciding fall will be chosen then and there by GM William Regal. Regardless of what the final stipulation is, or who wins in the end, we are going to be getting a classic title fight. I don't think the title changes hands here though, and this night just might end with the Undisputed Era being draped in gold with Adam Cole still your NXT Champion, baby. But how about this little nugget? This may seem crazy to some of you, but wouldn't it be nuts? If William Regal added a third man to the third fall, making it a triple threat match, and that man is a returning Tommaso Ciampa. Wow, talk about a shocker. That is the most unlikely scenario, but who knows what exactly Regal has planned when these guys go at it for the NXT Championship title one more time, NXT TakeOver Toronto going to be your favorite show of the whole entire weekend as it usually is. WWE's main roster cannot touch what NXT puts out, especially when it is their mission to steal the show every time they go out there. They put on just some of the best wrestling on the planet. They really are the premier brand of the company. It's hard for us to bring the hammer down on NXT because they do things so well and this Saturday night is going to be nothing more than usual business. This is, this is business as usual for NXT so I don't know why anybody acts like it's going to be a surprise that TakeOver Toronto is going to be unbelievable. And I, The one thing I'll give them a little bit of shit on is the fact that they went with a 2 out of 3 falls match again. We've seen so many 2 out of 3 falls matchups on the main roster that they pretty much killed the gimmick but adding their choices of stipulations and the mystery third stipulation making it more like a three stages of hell match than a traditional two out of three falls match I can buy back into it and they are going to show you exactly what it means to have a true two out of three falls matchups those things we were getting on Raw and Smackdown are nothing like what we are going to get Saturday night. Thank you guys so much for being here. This has been your NXT TakeOver Preview and Prediction Show. My name is Nick Nightmare. This is the team, Thor the Sledgehammer, the official Sledgehammer of the Sledgehammer Wrestling Show. His tag team partner, the World Heavyweight Champion of all the microphones in all the world, Mr. Blue the Snowball. Thank you guys for being with us here today. Don't forget to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Help us get to that 2K mark before SummerSlam comes to a close this Sunday night. I would appreciate it if you guys hit that like button if you enjoyed today's show. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss anything as our coverage of SummerSlam weekend continues throughout Saturday and Sunday. And don't forget to be here when the hammer comes down on SummerSlam because I'm sure it's going to come down pretty damn hard. Don't forget to check out everything else on the channel, including our Raw and SmackDown reviews, previous pay-per-view reviews, our AEW reviews, and also our Hammering Hollywood movie reviews are available for you guys as well. Thank you all so very much. That is going to do it, and we are out of here. And we will see you next time right here on your new favorite wrestling show, The Sledgehammer Wrestling Show, only on Sledgehammer TV, right here on YouTube.com. And don't forget to get your T-shirts. Awesome! Jeez.
gotta be wearing the official t-shirt. T-shirt time. Do it. Do it.